If you're like my clients, you've been trying to grow your hair out forever, but it's still the exact same length and nothing you try ever works. You got the frequent trims, you bought the products, you even got that trendy magic hair growth thing that you saw on social media. So why didn't any of it work? Because none of those things actually grow your hair out. They're just trends that people are trying to get you to spend money on. Today, they're selling pills for hair growth. Yesterday, it was rice water, and before that, it was caffeine in your shampoo to make your hair grow. What if you could take a shortcut through all these scammy trend products and just go straight to real hair growth? Some stylists specialize in color or cuts, but my specialty is maintenance and growth of hair, so this is my thing. So I'm pumped to show you the exact same routine I use to get my clients long hair, because it's the fastest way to get it, and I'm not talking about just a few extra scraggles at the bottom I'm talking about full thick length all right so to get long hair you have to understand the growth cycle of the individual hairs on your head at the beginning of the cycle it starts to grow this is called the antigen phase hair cells are multiplying all up in your follicle and your hair's growing out all over the place but the important part here is that the length of this cycle is different for everyone some people's antigen phase lasts like seven years that means that every hair on their head has had seven years to grow before it falls out but other people might have a much shorter cycle which is only like three years so their hair only has three years to get long. The key here is that the longer your cycle, the more time your hair has to get and grow long. Anyway, the next phase is catagen. Your hair follicle starts to go dormant and shrinks, but it doesn't fall out yet. You have the telogen phase. This is where the hair actually falls out. This is the not so fun part. All right, so why does all this matter? Because at this point, when your hair growth resets and you start the cycle over again, you get a fresh growth phase to work with. And if your hair isn't growing as long as you want, it's probably because you're accidentally making mistakes in this phase, which costs you a ton of length. Why did I say length there instead of growth? Because during the antigen phase, your hair is always growing. It's not like there's this lever inside your head where it's like fast or slow. I'm gonna say it again because this is super important when it comes to growing hair out. You have to realize that your hair is already growing. You don't need to focus on that, it's a waste. One of my favorite clients who I helped get long hair was blonde and she was constantly getting her roots touched up because she couldn't stand to have any dark roots shown against her blonde hair. She came in one day back when her hair was still short and she was complaining about how she could never grow her hair out. No matter what she does, her hair never grows past her shoulders. So I point out to her that her hair actually is growing fast and that's why she actually has to get her roots touched up all the time because they're constantly growing out on her. And for a second, she just kind of stared at me, but then it clicked for her and she's like, oh yeah, if my roots are always growing out, then yeah, my hair is growing. But if it's growing so much, why isn't my hair getting long? The answer is because she was making some mistakes during the antigen phase, which is super common and luckily super easy to fix. For her, the problem was that as her hair grew, she would get it bleached and then not care for it properly. So all her new fresh growth is immediately getting bleached and bleached is the most damaging thing you could possibly do to your hair. Not he styling. Stylists don't like you to know that. Anyway, after getting her hair bleached, she didn't have a proper hair routine. So she's exposing her hair to the elements all naked and it's getting dried out and damaged. And dried out damaged hair is super prone to breakage. And the longer the hair is on your head, the more damaged it gets and the more prone to breakage it's gonna be. So you can see after a certain length, the hair just can't hold on. It's so damaged and it's lost all of its strength it just breaks off. And that is what made it seem like her hair wasn't growing out. It would grow an inch up here, but that inch up here never got all the way down to the bottom because it would break off before it could get longer. That's why getting frequent trims doesn't work. Magic growth pills don't do anything to stop that breakage when your hair gets longer. They're completely useless. All right, so instead of trying really hard to get your hair to grow, 
which it's already doing by the way, we're gonna focus on strengthening the hair. We're gonna get it so strong that we aren't gonna lose any length to breakage during this antigen phase. That way your hair can grow out to its maximum potential even if you weren't blessed with the genetics of having a really long antigen cycle. And an awesome side effect of this routine is that strong hair is also healthy hair. So it looks all shiny and perfect and it's way easier to style. This stuff compounds so your hair keeps getting better and better, stronger and stronger, longer and longer. And believe it or not, I'm actually gonna be growing my hair out starting in a month or two and showing you guys exactly how it's going along the way. I'm trying to go for that Lord Uhtred look from The Last Kingdom, Uhtred, son of Uhtred. And what I'm about to show you right now is the exact same hair growth routine that I'm gonna use so you can use it too and grow your hair out with me. All right, step one, we're gonna use a mask once a week. If you're not really familiar with masks, they're basically super conditioners. Conditioners are more on the superficial side. They get the outside layer of your hair looking nice and good, but masks are much stronger and add moisture to the inside of your hair, which is really important. Really good way to keep your hair strong and healthy during the beginning of the antigen phase. Next up, I know some people are gonna be upset with this, but we are not getting a trim for at least six months. Trims are the exact opposite of hair growth. In the 80s, they came up with this idea that cutting hair actually made it grow faster and a lot of stylists just still repeat the same thing today, even though it's not true. The myth only got popular back in the 80s when people noticed if you cut that hair four to six inches shorter, it would start growing again. The problem is it would only grow again to the same point where it stopped before before you cut it. And we know that the reason it grew to that length and then stopped is because that's where the hair started getting weak and breaking off and turning into dust. So going back and forth between these two lengths doesn't actually make your hair longer. Total waste of time and money for getting haircuts. The real way to grow your hair past that limit is to stop cutting it and improve your routine to make your hair stronger so it can grow way longer before it starts to break off. And speaking of that, let's talk about the second product you're gonna add to your routine, which is hair oil. What hair oil does is it forms a barrier around the outside of your hair to keep everything nice and hydrated. It's gonna polish up all the rough edges. It's gonna make your hair nice and shiny. We're gonna use this every single day, constantly putting a new barrier on your hair to protect it from drying out and getting weak. But we're not gonna put that hair oil all over. We're gonna focus on our ends because they are the weakest, oldest part of your hair. That means they've taken the most damage because they've been on your head so long and they need a lot of help to stay healthy and strong. And you may not have thought about it like this, but your ends are also delicate because where you trim them, you left an open hole on the end. There's no getting around that, but that hole makes the hair really exposed. This oil will make it so you never have dry ends again, because remember, dry ends split, crack, and turn to dust. So every time you wash your hair at the end of your after shower hair routine, when you're done styling it and putting products in it, you're gonna take some hair oil and run it over your ends. And then on days that it's not wash day, you're still gonna use this in the morning to polish and seal up your ends, keep them nice and healthy. So again, they don't break off and you don't lose length. If you don't know exactly how to use oil, check out this old 60 second video that I made like years ago. All right, next up, you're going to do no heat styling for the first two weeks of this. We're trying to load a bunch of moisture into your hair with the mask and allow all that moisture to build up so we have a great base and starting point. After those first two weeks, then you can start heat styling again, but remember to always use a heat protectant and make sure to give your hair three days rest before you hit it with heat again. All right, so oil is taking care of our ends and mids, but as the hair grows out, we need a way to protect the roots in the mids. Now, they aren't as delicate is your ends because they're newer growth. They haven't been around as long, but if you leave them exposed, they're going to dry out on you. And that makes them vulnerable to damage and breakage, which we definitely don't want because if your roots are mid snap, you lose everything below it. So to make sure that never happens, it's time for our third and final product. This is so easy. It's only three products. Here we have 
Leave-in conditioner. This is water-based, so it's really light in your hair. And what it's going to do is help keep your hair hydrated by forming a really lightweight barrier around each hair, which makes them healthier and shinier. But the main benefit we care about here that this gives you is it adds structural integrity to the hair, AKA your hair's not gonna break off when you have this on it. People get confused all the time, like what's the difference between regular conditioner and leave-in conditioner? I only need one, right? I would never need both. You need both. Regular conditioner moisturizes your hair so it's nice and shiny and soft. You can feel the difference in your hair when you use it in the shower. But if you feel your hair later in the day, you'll notice that it doesn't feel nearly as nice as it did in the shower. And the reason for that is because it dried out on you. You basically lost all the effects of your conditioner. It went straight down the drain and your dry hair is back. But if you use leave-in conditioner, you won't lose that moisture. You won't lose the effect of your conditioner. Your hair will stay nice and shiny, hydrated, feeling like it did in the shower. So using leave-in conditioner, super easy, super forgiving. You're gonna use it on wash days after you get out of the shower, towel dry your hair so it's still damp, not wet, not dry either, just damp. And then you're gonna put this on your hair first. This is your base product. Nothing goes on your hair before this does. So you're gonna spray this on there. You're gonna use this everywhere, root to tip. If you wanna see all the specifics, check out this old video. It takes like 20 seconds, and then after that, just do your normal hair routine with whatever products you use. Just make sure to use that hair oil on your ends so they don't break off. At this point, your hair is gonna be unstoppable. You're gonna get the full benefit and full length of that antigen phase, however long it lasts, and your friends are gonna start asking what you're doing differently from your hair. And this is before it actually starts to get long. Your hair is not gonna get long on the first day. But on the first day of using this, your hair will look healthier and shinier, and as you go on, it's gonna get better and better and better and longer. If you're not sure exactly which products to get, highly recommend you check out my recommended product list. It's in the description. It'll show you exactly which products work for your hair type because you must match products to your hair type. It even has a quiz to help you figure out your hair type. Hope you learned a lot. Hope you had fun. Good luck growing your hair. Have a good one, guys.